All right, moving on. Next up, the Carolina Panthers. 7-9 last year. To win the division, the odds are plus 450 this year. Strength of schedule, it's the eighth most difficult in the league. Turnover margin, tied for 15th, along with the Falcons at plus one. Head coach is Ron Rivera. I think we like Ron. Right? I, think we, I think we like Ron Rivera. I do like Ron Rivera. Over under is seven and a half. The juice on the over is minus 115. The juice on the under is minus 105. They signed on offense center Matt Paradis. They drafted left tackle Greg a little. They are trying to shore up that offensive line, try and protect uh, Cam Newton a little more. Defense, they signed defensive tackle Gerald McCoy. That was a big offseason acquisition. Uh, the defense was, we felt like, already pretty good. Correct. But last year, maybe not so much. They needed a little bit of help. They drafted defensive end Brian Burns from Florida State uh, in the first round. He will be expected to start immediately along with McCoy. Yards per play, they were number eight on offense last year. Five and, that's what, and that's what Cam missed in time. Yeah. They were, uh, they, I mean, 5.9. Offense coordinator Norv Turner, uh, he had a lot to do with that. He understands, I mean, Christian McCaffrey was an absolute beast last year. He put up some insane numbers. Have you seen Christian McCaffrey in the offseason? Uh, no. No, his arms are like three times bigger than they were last year. I wonder if he can hold on to the football stuff. <laughs> oh, no, he looks amazing. <laughs> he looks incredible. You talk about a dude looking right in shorts and a T-shirt. He looks pretty good. I, yeah, I think okay. I think he's he's poised to just keep being, just give me the ball. Now we with Luke Keekley and and that defense, we assume defense is good. Ron Rivera, yes, kind I, of I trust guy. I trust Rivera and the defense to be solid. Uh, defense coordinator is Eric Washington. Their yards per play last year on defense, twenty eighth in the league. They gave up six point oh yards per play. That will have to improve this year. Yep. They are a projected favorite in eight games. Now, remember the over under seven and a half. I like them at eight and eight this year. So long as Cam stays healthy and everything, I think they're going to be fine. They also drafted a uh, Will Greer, yeah, uh, I, to back up Cam, and it's going to take some time. I was going to say we're a long way from Will playing, but there's a but yeah. and this could be the that, same that, for a lot of teams. Back in the day, there was an old coach, general manager. I'm going to use the F word real quick. That that asked, well, well, what happens if if like you're never getting into your backups any practice time? What happens if Peyton goes down? He's like, if Peyton goes down, we're fucked, and we don't, and we don't practice fucked. Like, there's no, there's no. If Cam goes down, look, I think Will was great in college. He might be a good pro player one day. When Cam goes down, it's it's over. Yeah, like, it's they're, tough. They're in a lot of trouble. I like this team a lot. I think they've done a lot to make Cam better, safer, not have to run so much. Um, I like this team a lot. I've got them. I've got them ten and six. Okay, okay. I've got them eight and eight. You got them ten and six. I really, really think this team's going to improve. I think offensively, um, uh, Court and Sutton, not Court and Sutton. Man, I, I, I started getting into a path. D DJ Moore's going to take a big step oh, up. Oh yeah. Um, I think McCaffrey will be the the guy. Well, McCaffrey's going to be the guy. I'm going to tell you what's going to help Cam. And and I know you're going to laugh at me when I say this because. In the offseason, our text messages have gone back and forth with a bunch of people. It's crazy. Cam Newton is no longer going to have to run the ball when they get into the red zone to get into the end zone. They're going to take those runs off of him because they're going to put Elijah Holyfield in the game, and they're going to say, go get in the end zone because that guy is not capable of losing yards. He's, he's too big and too strong. I don't care how fast he ball. is. He's, he's too big and too strong, and if you need three yards to get in the end zone, you're just going to hand it to him. And there's nobody in the NFL that's stopping him from getting two or three yards. I don't know that anybody on the face of this planet loves Elijah Holyfield as much as you. Oh, know. there's no question that his daddy it, don't love him like I love. It, he, they don't. He, he just don't. He didn't even get drafted. I know. It's a, it's a that is a criminal offense. Nobody. <laughs> we we watch. We go to combine and we let these guys get out there in underwear. Hang on. Now we're gonna take some time for a minute. We let these guys go out there in underwear and say, "How do you look?" But but when you have game film of how they actually played when they strapped it on and you see this guy's an absolute freak oh but he didn't look good in his underwear well who gives a shit you're not playing the game in your <laughs> underwear you got to put pads on you got to hold the football and you got to mow people over kirby smart lost a my dog just came into the room <laughs> to the room heard me screaming sorry about this Kirby Smart lost the game, flat out lost the game at LSU strictly because he would not give the ball <laughs> to, to Elijah Holyfield. He touched the ball eight times. He got eight yards per touch. 
That was against LSU. It was a little different the rest of the season. No, but- it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Every time he touched the ball, he got positive yards. Every time he touched the ball. Hold on. We're, we're, he's I'm- a complete monster. I, I really like this team. Holyfield might not make the roster. If he doesn't make the roster, I'm going to be furious. It, it, and I'm going to question everything I know about watching football. Why do you – I just don't get how you love him that Look, much. Look, because I watched I just, him play. And I watched him play at a high level. I didn't watch him play at North Dakota State and him beat up on s- smaller schools. I watched him play in the SEC. And I watched him run flat over Alabama defenses and Auburn defenses and LSU defenses and Florida defenses. The entire NFL is made up of those players on defense. All right, here we go. Last year – for Georgia, had 159 attempts for 1,017 yards. Seems like a lot. It was 6.4 yards that per That seems touch. like a lot. He had seven touchdowns. You know why? Because Kirby Smart doesn't give him the football. Well, and then he left early. Uh, okay. But I think that was because he understood that. Kirby Smart's not going to give me the damn ball. Because he's an idiot. You think, you think he'll make the roster? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be really upset if he don't make the roster. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be really upset if you don't make the roster. All right, we got two more teams we got to roll Sorry through. Sorry about that. 